Welcome back to the last part of uh, 10x your network series and this is part 4. We have replaced all hard drives in those bays with SSDs. Uh, I'll show you the recordings, the speeds I was getting when setting up uh, those SSDs in RAID 5, so 7 SSDs in RAID 5 and RAID 10, which means 6 drives in RAID 10, mirroring 3 and 3 on each side and one as a hot spare. And we're going to be testing SFP um, 10 gigabit cable and we are going to be testing RJ45 uh, CAT 5E cable and uh, this, will, this will allow you to compare the speeds uh, what to expect if you have unshielded cable and proper 10 gigabit uh, cable for um, 10 gigabit speeds so we can finally answer the question can you NAS Pro from Unify can achieve full 10 gigabit speeds with that weak CPU that it has inside. I'm going to show you that in a second. So our first task was to replace all hard drives with SSDs. So what happens if you remove the first SSD? If you were curious, nothing will happen because there's a RAID 5 setup, which means it allows one drive to be broken, removed or whatever, and the data will be still safe and accessible. Things change when you remove the second drive, if you have only one drive redundancy. When you remove your second drive, the storage will be destroyed because uh, there's not enough drives uh, that have parity data that would uh, allow restoring the data. It's all gone now. Also keep in mind that with RAID 10, when they say it's two drive protection, it only allows one drive to, uh, to fail on each mirror side. If the both drives will fail on the, e on the same side, your data will be still gone even if you have higher protection. Just keep that in mind. So once all drives are removed, it will show that there are no drives found. And at this point, we can then introduce our SSDs in those bays. So with only one SSD inserted, there's no protection, but it still allows you to store data on your NAS using that one hard drive. When you add your second drive, it will switch into RAID 1 mode, which is a mirror mode, two drives mirroring each other. This will allow one drive to fail and your data is still safe. When you add your third SSD, it will switch into RAID 5 mode, which means one drive can fail and your data is still safe across those three drives. You can keep on adding those drives until you have filled all the bays and you have this uh, one drive redundancy, RAID 5. If, you're, if you were curious how long it takes to build a RAID across seven 500 gigabyte SSDs, it takes around half an hour. So then we were running our first test, which is uploading data from a computer to a NAS using RJ45 CAT5E cable, which is not shielded. And the speeds we were getting was around four, 500 megabytes a second. And our download speeds were very similar, maybe slightly faster than 500 megabytes a second at some point, but otherwise very similar upload and download speeds. And this is again, uh, seven SSDs in RAID 5 setup and then we were using NAS performance tester and we were getting speeds around 581 uh, megabytes second upload and download. Black magic tests were much faster compared, uh, compared to hard drive setup. Uh, we were getting 230 write to, and 330 read. Pretty good speeds for SSD but that's what you expect higher IOPS. So this is uh, upload speed test from a computer to a NAS. This is using SFP 10 gigabit uh, cable. And the speeds we are getting are actually very similar to RJ45 cable, but the speed will always depend on the type of files you're transferring. Smaller files will take longer, bigger ones will take uh, much less time to transfer. And then we were testing download speeds and those speeds were also very similar to upload speeds. Slightly faster though. The NAS performance test was showing 619 megabytes uh, uh, write and the read was 702 megabytes a second, which is faster than those manual file transfer tests we did. Then I was thinking, okay, let's test RAID 10 speeds and I choose higher protection. Obviously all data that is on those drives will need to be formatted and gone. So RAID 10 setup means it's mirroring three drives on one side, three on others, and the seventh drive is for hot spare. That's how RAID 10 works. Building RAID 10 for some reason takes much longer than RAID 5. Instead of half an hour, it's actually two hours. So something to bear in mind, obviously. So first we were doing upload speed, 
using our unshielded Cat5e cable, which is a regular LAN cable. So the speeds we were getting were around 400 megabytes a second, um, maybe slightly faster to upload. So we also used NAS Performance Tester, where we saw average write speeds 6 to 3 megabytes a second and uh, read speeds on average um, six, uh, 579 megabytes a second. Black Magic tests were showing 271 megabytes write, 412 megabytes read. Uh, very good tests on Black Magic, as you would expect from SSDs. And then our last test, which is uh, download from NAS to a local PC where we were getting even 700 megabytes in and above the speeds. So this is 10 gigabit SFP plus cable and RAID 10 across six SSDs. And looking at the upload speeds from the computer to a NAS through this SFP cable, we're getting even five, 600 megabytes a second at some point when we were uploading uh, using copy paste method. During NAS performance tests, using this software, we were seeing write speeds around 723 megabytes a second and download speeds at 1061 megabytes a second, which is basically 10 gigabit speed. So there you go. Now you know that you can achieve 10 gigabit speeds with this UNAS Pro, having SSDs in RAID 10. That's six SSDs in a mirror. And uh, obviously, write speeds were not fully uh, 10 gigabit but writes um, but download speeds were but just in case you were curious if you can achieve one way or another these 10 gigabit speeds you can with sfp plus cable or maybe this cat 7 cable and uh, ssds in ray 10. so this concludes our series about how to 10x your network if you have any other ideas that uh, i could create a series about something uh, do let me know and uh, I'm going to be working on new series then later on. Otherwise, I'm working on a few other projects, uh, which is going to be Top Gear NAS testing uh, series, where I'm going to be testing uh, this UNAS Pro uh, regarding speeds it can achieve during uh, RAID build, RAID rebuild, uh, proxy uh, remote uh, file uploads and downloads, uh, regular 10 gigabit file uploads and all sort of tests regarding how fast it is. You can uh, follow me if you want to see that video. I'll also use some footage that I had uh, regarding how to reset this NAS, how to set up a direct connection between PC and the NAS without any switch. Uh, those videos will be coming up soon as well. So if you want to see them, subscribe. Otherwise, um, I'll see you next time.